So, Lizzie. Yes. What are we about to do? Rise of the Resistance. This is your very first time on it's, Rise of the Resistance, right? I know like one thing. That's it. That's just one thing. One thing. All right. Well, let's get your reactions on type. No. On type. Uh, yeah, scan the magic band. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Lizzie. It is time. <laughs> so I just told her that we are on a resistance mission, a mission for the resistance, uh, in, and we're about to go into this like resistance encampment. Also, Lizzie, the backside of water. I, I'm not the only one to make that joke though. Oh, it's moving. We're moving and moving, and there's a bunch of people. This looks very industrial. So I was also just telling Lizzie that at any given point in the line, if the if the line ever stops moving, there's always like an opportunity to sit that they sort of embedded into the uh, line's uh, queue design, which is very considerate of the I Imagineers. I about that. I'm like, why wouldn't they give seating in a ride that probably will have a high wait time? Like. Yeah. When people's feet are killing them. I think the Imagineers definitely knew about that. And especially for Rise of the Resistance, apparently. Yeah. It's good thinking. Yeah, because Toy Story Land doesn't really have much where you can sit on the like ride area. Yeah, you'd think Slinky Dog would totally have something like that, but they don't. Maybe like a rock or two, but like very... A rock or two. A rock. Yeah. Yeah, just one. Like a pebble. <laughs> More seating. This is bright. I like the glow. I don't even know if like you're even gonna react to like stuff like this. Not much. Nah. And here we are. I don't know which way, which one we're entering through. I guess we're entering through this. Oh, I barely heard that, but okay. There we go. Go all the way in. Oh, that just happened. <laughs> Just half it. Just half. Just half. That should be good. Ah! Oh. <laughs> it's a friend. I saw this BB-8. Prep the ready room for recruits. Commander 9 please report back to IGS Cockpit. I'm not gonna record literally anything. Huh? I'm not gonna record literally anything. Let's go over. Check the binary motor. Yes, 
I just woke to be sure. The uh, new uh, recruits must be on board now. Transport is away in 30 seconds. They're supposed to be an animatronic here. I would at least try to look in the back. Engage repulses and hold on, recruits. Launch. I am Lieutenant Beck. As you heard from Ray, I have been tasked with getting you to Vakara. There's supposed to be someone there. We're leaving Batu. Oh boy. Black leader, we're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. BB-8, what do you got? There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the uh -oh. shields. This is TR-141. We are a civilian vessel. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order, Resistance Scum. Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded. Now quick, get there! They'll want the location of our secret base. Tell them nothing. Well, we're on the, the Star Destroyer now. At stake. Oh. I have a bad feeling about this. Stand back from those doors. You have been caught. The ship is now property of the First Order. Remove yourself from it immediately. Nice flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, get out. Get out. <laughs> So she do like a pose or something. Okay, maybe not. They're watching us. Uh huh. That was quick. Okay, so thoughts so far. Keep in mind we're being watched. Oh, no, he's gone. It was bizarre how big that room was. It was like, can I actually come up here? They don't give you a lot of time to just kind of... I thought it was the kind of thing where you could just look. I mean, because they have to, you know, you know, keep being efficient with guests and stuff, so... Yeah. There was supposed to be an animatronic uh, at that area where it was, like, kind of walled off. But, uh, yeah, they weren't working, so... We should have actually been in the back where they were... Uh, where, where we could actually see us flying out of that too. Yeah, I kind of wish we did that. I didn't know what to expect, but yeah, I just kind of did what you said. Yeah, I know. I was kind of like, oh, no. And then it was kind of too late. And so. Yeah, because everyone else filled in. So right now, uh, we're basically about to be detained uh, by the First Order. Uh, and I didn't realize how serious it was. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're about to be basically arrested. Uh oh I'll tell my mom. <laughs> so we're on a Star Destroyer. Probably gonna be tortured. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, we're probably gonna be tortured. I don't like torture. <laughs> it kind of hurts, I think. Have you seen these movies? <laughs> Had all of them. How many do we have? Two and two long spots. Uh -oh. Some storm troopers. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. If we ever try to run, Get blasted. Oh god. <laughs> I don't like those odds. Stand formation this way. two single file lines until called on by an officer. This feels too real. <laughs> Punished. You feel what? I feel punished. Oh boy. <laughs> Why does this feel real? I mean, have you never been on a Star Destroyer before? No? Okay, well, you're screwed. I want to see those heads turn. Okay, they're kind of just frozen right now. Oh, head turns. It's turning towards you. Kind of. Kind of. What are you saying? Wait, what are you saying? Listen, listen well, turn around. You will be moving over here. And following me this way, sir. 
Silver. Remember. Silver. Got it. Get ready for interrogation. <laughs> Ready to be interrogated? No. Oh. Oh, I see. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. The resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I. <laughs> Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. Chills. A little. Constantly. You good? And now we're being rescued. <laughs> silver. Silver, silver. Yeah, you go in first. All right. Rise of the resistance. Also. This is R5. He was just reprogrammed from a first order droid. He's on our side now. He's going to get you guys out of here. Good news is I was not the one to reprogram him. So you guys have an awesome chance of making it out. <laughs> cool. Okay, they carved out the door. I like that. Cool, right? Right. Okay. Take this corridor to the turbo lift, then head down to the escape pod base. Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Yeah, we're going to the escape pod. Okay. Let's go. Okay. 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 Okay.
Thinking there was gonna be a drop, but there wasn't. And, was and like, then you got it. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, okay. And then it did it, and I was like, oh. It was kind of like a perfect. Uh, I didn't see it coming at all. It just happened. I'm like, it was like oh. a perfect utilization of that. Since oh, no. I didn't have the best view in the very beginning, it might dock it just one point, but I would say it was like, it felt ultra real. Like, Thank you. a little too real. I was like, <laughs> I am in trouble. Like, this is... I, I did a bad thing. I did a bad thing and I'm being punished for it. You did a bad thing for just doing a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I'm okay. And then it was like, wee. And then it was like, whoa. We were being rescued. Yes. Favorite parts? The drop. The drop. The drop. I could tell that, that you were definitely going to love that one. Um, it's so funny because I used to hate free fall dropping. Like, hate, 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 hate. Like, I would avoid it. At all costs, and now I'm like, Tower of Terror? Yeah. What did you think of that uh, that whole scene where we were going through where the cannons were blasting? I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. That was when I was like, what did you think of that with like a trackless ride? I was like, well, what? I was like, how are they doing this? <laughs> like, is it wheels? Favorite animatronic? Hmm. This might be just because like it just felt more convincing, but Kylo Ren. Yeah. There's like a... And the stormtroopers. I don't know. I think the the redheaded dude. Oh, Hux. The animatronic for him. I know it like barely showed his face, and it was probably because it wasn't like the best face. Most convincing. Yeah. It but it was at least like one, with what but... they at least show. It was like yeah, it was fine. It's, it's okay. Yeah. Like, I'm not bothered by that. I'm yeah. kind of like, but and I really thought, what's his name, Poe? Uh, Poe. Po. Po. It is Poe. Wait, uh, are you talking about no? With the, the one that was actually uh, ducking as like a yeah, disguise yeah. squish That, threw me off. that was, was Finn. Like, at first I was like, that's a person. And then I was like, oh, wait. That's Yeah, that was Finn. I actually just uh, realized something. Because uh, last time I was in line for Rise of the Resistance, I was playing uh, the, play, the Play Disney Parks app. Like In line, you could play a specific game on the Star Wars data pad uh, where your... I, saw, I, heard, I heard someone laughing at me for vlogging, so... <laughs> Hey, um, like there was a there was a game where you can tell Finn uh, like what to do, where to go. He's trying to break into the Star Destroyer or whatever, and try to 
deactivate things and everything. And there was one point in that game where it's like, oh, I am in this, I'm in this closet. Oh, there's a stormtrooper costume. Should I wear it? And you choose yes or no. And it, and it, he does wear it. He wears the stormtrooper costume. I noticed that he wears the stormtrooper costume uh, in as, as that animatronic, which is interesting. So uh, I'm that that it's kind of interesting. I don't know if I'm showing myself. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> How would you rate this on a scale of maybe one to ten or? Yes. Maybe nine. A nine? Yeah. I thought it was going to be actors playing whatever it is, but that also doesn't make sense because they got to do that like 300 plus times a day. No, right. like thousands. So it, w it makes sense to be animatronics. The first, the, the first time I did it, the actor experience was like top notch. The what? The actor, like the, the cast yeah. members uh, were being very... I think this time it was too. I think I was like feeling threatened. I was like... Yeah, oh but God. yeah, but wait until you see my vlog I was on like, it. You would mad at me. Wait until you see my vlog on how the ca the cast members acted in that one. Oh, it's it's uh, I feel like I have yet to have a cast member experience on this ride surpass that experience. Oh, and I think that was still the most perfect one. Gee. But yeah, so yeah, I was not expecting to go outside either. I was like, we're outside. <laughs> there are people around here. <laughs> what? Humans? Yep. What? Yep. I think. It would probably be like a 9.5 if I could ride it again in the front in the animatronic work. Or at least in the middle, maybe? Towards the front? Oh, you're talking about the transport pod? Yeah. Yeah, you would want to ride it again if the transport pod, like the, at the tra not pod, but in the transport ship if the animatronics uh, were working, so, okay. Yeah. So you give it a thumbs up? A thumbs up, yeah. <laughs>